well by now you guys are probably getting the gist that when Big Orange shows up in a video it's gonna be a repair video so we got ourselves some moisture down here and that moisture is coming from right here she is leaking so just like everything else this thing has seals in it and over time those seals wear out so I'm going to show you how to replace those seals I'm going to get this thing taken out here and uh, I'll bring you back Okay, now with the U-joint out, you can pull this collar, retainer, whatever the heck you want to call it, and it'll just pop right off. And now, these little buttons, whatever the heck you want to call them, uh, they just pop out. So, we'll just grab something to soften the jaws on this. I'm sure there's a special tool to do this. And if you want to buy that special tool, I certainly would recommend it. There we go. Okay. So there's the the button. There's a little seal up inside here, and there's a seal on the outside. And the friction of this seal in this hole is what keeps it in there. Now, there's really nothing to do in here. This is all that's in here. But, uh, when you have this apart, it doesn't hurt to just strip it completely down and uh, clean it all out. Okay, that's everything that's inside one of these things. You can see this is straight through daylight. There is nothing left. The only seals that really matter are these little ones here, and of course they are special. They're the seals that go inside and uh, seal the that moving part button whatever you want to call it so getting it out isn't that hard you want to have a pick try from the top that works okay no she comes there is going to be a little bit of gunk inside there and you want to make sure you get that clean I just use a, a rag and I just shove this thing in there and clean it out really well before I throw the seal in 
So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to support the bottom of this loop here a little bit. Put a little bit of tension on it. And then I'm just lightly squeezing the sides into the slot. This is as much of a pain in the ass as it looks. You're just going to be gently convincing this to do something it doesn't really want to do. It goes without saying, be very careful. You do not want to tear, tear this seal. This one's just super easy. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Time to get these things installed. So whenever I'm messing around with O-rings, I like to put a little bit of grease on them. Just to be extra sure that nothing's going to get bound up. You don't really want to do this twice. So I got a socket that just fits over top. Just gently work it back in. Ta-da! In she is. So if it starts trying to push up, I mean it is what it is. But just try and get them all in there. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now this retainer plate can go back on. And then this U-joint goes back in. And this U-joint is basically what holds the retainer plate down, which is what holds these buttons in. Now this thing is indexed. It has a pin and a little dowel hole there so you can't screw it up yeah I'm sure somebody could And that's it. That's how you rebuild one of these pilot control joysticks. There's not much to it. Really the seals, seals right in here are really the only ones that, that matter. They're the only ones that ever leak. I mean 99 times out of 100. It's just those seals inside here. So I hope this helps.